So I just finished one of the most typical challenging cases for me. Our patient today, unfortunately, was diagnosed with uh, LPP, or what we call the leaking plantar pilaris. This is an autoimmune condition that uh, characterized by having an autoimmune reaction, autoimmune condition that characterized by uh, antibodies attacking hair follicles, resulting in damage and ultimately boldness in patchy appearance. LPP is sort of like a wildfire. So it burns inside the scalp and by the time the attack is finished, some of the area being damaged resulting in what we call a scarring alopecia. These patients are very difficult to treat because even under well-controlled LPP, they can relapse in the future. Uh, fortunately, we have medications now, such as JAK inhibitors, that can help to manage this condition. So uh, our patient today had a procedure about a year ago. It was more like a trial procedure to see how he would respond. He had a very good result for a small hair transplant. I think we did less than a thousand grafts to the frontal area and everything grew just fine. And today I just finished uh, 2,000 grafts because of the, um, this specific condition. The donor area was also affected by LPP hair loss. So I had to harvest some of that from the beard area, harvesting one by one. This is what I came up with as far as the hairline design. We're going to try to um, concentrate in the frontal area, recreating the hairline with some irregularity and adding more density in the frontal um, uh, tuft or frontal area and some mid scalp. So um, suggested uh, graph count is 3600. I'm not sure if we can obtain because the donor area is very limited that, that we have. Uh, but we'll try to do our best. Um, also, um, we'll include some of the facial hair for a patient to supplement some of the graft. Uh, this is uh, what possibly we can see as a result. Let's change the style a little bit. I think our patient has a little bit lighter hair color, so maybe even something like this, yes. So we hope that um, uh, all the hair will continue um, uh, to grow despite the autoimmune condition. Patient is committed with the treatment and will uh, follow regularly with dermatologist. Well, I got total uh, 1600 grafts uh, taken from the donor area and uh, 400 grafts from the bearded area resulting in 1936 grafts. Um, I took my time to implant. I wanted to make sure current inflammation going on in the recipient area. So um, I think it was a successful procedure. Again, this is one of the most difficult cases we encounter as uh, hair transplant surgeons. And uh, typically, unless um, we know the patient is can be well controlled with his uh, LPP condition, we should not um, do hair transplant. In this case, I think I uh, uh, have a motivated patient. He showed that he was able to uh, stay current with medication, making sure there's no further damage occur. So I'm very uh, hopeful that everything's gonna be good. And then right now, we're just uh, cleaning everything up. We're gonna take a set of pictures and patient goes straight into the hyperbaric chamber. Why it is important? Because of this all this scar tissue, there's not enough oxygen can be delivered, so HBOT can help facilitate more oxygen delivered to the recipient area. So stay tuned, subscribe, ask questions. I'm always uh, watching my social media accounts and will personally respond.